Okay, in case you couldn't tell, this is the first episode of my playthrough of Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, or the Game Boy Color. It was originally released on the Game Boy, but since I like my Game Boy Color, I'm playing it in the DX version. I'm going to be playing as, um, I don't know. I can't think of anything, so I'll just be naming myself on Because that's who, that's who he is, whatever. Alright, and you are currently having a nightmare when you wake up. Good beginning. Alright, so now you get control of your character. Talk to Marion if you want. She'll tell you about some nasty monsters that came ever since you came here. Feel free to talk to, talk to, and then you talk to this guy, and you will get your shield. Shield back and press B to repel enemies. It's very useful to sitting down at the door. That's the telephone shop. That's the guy who runs like, the telephone company. Wait, that's not a shop. That's like a little like phone house, I guess it would be. Yeah. Okay, now nothing important in here for here for now. That'd be cool, that'd be easy to do. But yeah, first thing is continue down to the beach. Off the rack over there, not to mess with him. More off the rack. And these spike things. Alright, in order to get past these, just hold out your shield in front of you and push. Ow. And don't let go of it like I did. Ow. Yeah, with those things for now. Just, uh, get it. And when you walk up to your sword, the owl will come here. The uh, the owl. Don't know it. it. We don't care yet. It doesn't even know. And this owl. Not as annoying as the Ocarina of Time owl, though. The Ocarina of Time owl is a pain in the ass. So yeah, when you start talking, just throw it at this, I don't know, push it down near the sword, and you can get the sword. That means you fall apart. By the way, um, well, huh, usually there's, uh, there's usually like hearts 
around here. I've always liked jump hard, so whenever I left, that's like the first time. Alright, drop down here, pick up your first heart here. And now we have three and one quarter hearts, although it doesn't say that in the screen. But technically it is true. Alright, if you paid attention to what the owl was saying, I already know because I've played this game before. You're supposed to go into this forest over here. That'd be good to say. So yeah, the wind phase is currently stalking us, which is always fun. Alright, these are blue moblins that take two hits with the sword. Those are like red gel things, I don't know their regular name. But yeah, if you kill uh, if you just like a splash them, they'll split off into like two mini gels and those each take one. Um, spin strike will kill them instantly. Later on, you, later, the higher level sword will kill them instantly. Piece of power kills them instantly. I want to show that off too. Piece of power. Those are really unique to this game. Piece of power and the guardian acorn. These, these are better in every single game. That is featured than any other in it. Come on. Wow, that's a fail right there. Um, Alright, yeah, slash these crystal things and push this. And you get 50 rupees, which is always nice. Oh, yeah, if you stay on those track floors too long, they will uh, break and you will fall and take half a heart. The heart piece over there, we need the power bits to get to. Well, I can't get it yet. The only reason I'm going to play is for this part of school. Alright, now that we have the school, we can progress somewhat. Can't get uh, the dungeon key for E yet. Because that's... Oh, that's there. oh yeah, in this game, the blue rupees are worth 1 instead of 5. I guess. No, I can do it. Um. Yeah. Ow. Okay. Yeah. I went. I was a little greedy there. Oh yeah. Piece of power. All right. These are pretty much insanity. We lost, we lost. Explosion. 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 Pretty cool, I must say. It's one thing I like about the game. Get that, get that, get the heart back. Now we can pretty much pick off anybody easily. Alright, as long as you don't run into stuff, I'm a dumb shit. Yeah, but it's only temporary. Zoras are 
Thorns are actually good characters in some of these other games, but they're actually evil. Okay, uh, talk to the witch would be it with whatever item you ever but you said the tag will appear, and she will make you a thing. The music speeds up just for this. And they will give and she will give you the magic powder. You can sprinkle it on a variety of things. Basically it works exactly like Ember Seeds and uh, Oracle of the Ages and Seasons. Light it on isn't light stuff on fire, use the magic powder. And there's also another use for it, and I will show that off now. So yeah, I'm in the use for fire. And yeah, there's that annoyance. Problem. I can block that. Alright. Back to full health. Yeah, some moblins actually do have swords and shields. I prefer to skill class them because they're annoying. Ah. Proves that Moblins have low intelligence. So. Alright, now this guy. Don't go into the next area unless you want an insanity and an insanity mindset. Talk to him and he will tell you about his nerves being very sensitive to sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. Huh, I wonder what we gotta use on this guy. This part makes me laugh all the time. <laughs> it's amusing. And then it turns out to be Terror in the Mario knockoff in this game. There's a game full of Mario knockoffs. But I will accept them because they are funny when you find them. Talk to him and he will tell you how he's tired. And he wants to sit for a while. This is the tail piece to keep you the first one. Let the owl talk a little bit. 